Uh, now, students, uh, part two of this data set, and uh, I'm going to take a look at room tags um, because they're tricky enough now in a building that's uh, complex like this one here. Um, so, uh, most important is um, I'm using uh, this tag here. Okay, if I just select that, it's called the AT room medium tag. And uh, I'm going to upload that um, along with this video so that you're able to download it, drag and drop it into your project, and then you can select it as the style of tag that you want to use. Uh, it has a couple of advantages um, in that it is set up so that it automatically uh, populates the uh, floor level area, floor level name, okay? You still have to write in uh, what, the actual, uh, what the actual room is here, and it'll report back to us the, um, the square meter area too. And it's set up at a size uh, which is, you can just about get away with it uh, in terms of a 1 is to 200 uh, project here, okay? So um, what, I want you to, what I want to look at here is, I'm going to show you a couple of ways to do this. So uh, as we explained before, um, we have taken a call out of this plan area here. And uh, we have a little bit more detail uh, on that. And this is it here. Okay, now <clears throat> notice that um, that is the CAD plan, so I'm just going to hide that here for the moment. Uh, notice that none of the room tags have come up here, but that there is rooms. As soon as you uh, can pick something like that, there is rooms. So what you can do is uh, go into your architecture tab over the room and area and into tag room. Do not create a room on top of this. Okay, then you'll get a miscalculation here. It'll come up and probably tell you you've already got a room here so oh because we already have a room all we want to do is tag it so that's what we use here so tag room and uh, i'll turn off the leader here don't want that and i can now uh, pop in here and start uh, basically tagging uh, these rooms okay so escape escape now i've got them tagged and um Organize that one a little bit better. Uh, notice that um, it's actually not giving me the room area and I want the room area, so I'm going to pick it. I'm going to edit type and I'll switch on the um, indicator there for room area as well. Now I'm getting the room areas there. Now, so I can go back to my uh, ground floor plan and uh, these are um, these are the original room tags as such and the other ones were the uh, copy tags, if you like. Now, uh, if I wanted to do that the other the other way, okay, so here's the 1 is to 50 plan detail here, and um, I'm now going to create rooms here as such, okay? So, um, you can see now I'm getting all the, the lobbies in and all the service cores here. Okay, and the lift cores as well. And I'll do the uh, stair core there and the lobby here and that little uh, storeroom there. Okay, so that's, uh, that's good enough there. I escape, escape. Okay, so all my rooms are in there now. And uh, okay, perhaps a little bit too small. Um, so, um, I'm not sure if I can just swap out this one on an individual basis. Let's try it and see. So room medium. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's not reporting back what I what I wanted it to do there. So um, I'll undo that. And what I could do is um, select that, do an edit type, um, do a duplicate. Okay. And um, so this would be name and number two, uh, one stroke 50. And uh, that's all correct. We'll go okay with that. So if I um, that whole tag, so it's this one here, I'm gonna edit that type there. Ah, no, I, I have to go in and edit the family. So all I did was make a, a kind of a type there. I'd have to actually make a whole new family here. 
and uh, good good for you to see here <coughs> excuse me so file uh, save as uh, family and we'll call this uh, medium 150 all right uh, save now each of these are the labels that report back so edit label and you can see it's reporting back on the level that's what is in there um it'd be great if it would do the room automatically but it doesn't you can see i've pushed out the um the room um text area quite large here so that it doesn't drop down and interfere with this one here as well now uh what i need to do perhaps is use a different uh, label so if you use say a two and a half mil transparent okay I'm going to use a two and a half mil opaque. And that one, I need to pull this out a little bit and then try and get that. Uh, let's move this up so it's not sitting on top of everything. Okay, and reception and make that a two and a half opaque as well. And then get the 1500, move that down. No. Okay, so that's roughly that one. Another little touch here. And um, now, because I've changed those and they're slightly different to what was there before, um, I can load it into the project. All right. And uh, um, escape, escape. And I'll come in now into the plan detail area here. So I'll check this and I can right click and say, find me, uh, I told instances in the view. I don't know if it's done that or not, but we're going to swap it out right for this one here. And you can see now it's a, it's a little bit bigger there. So right click, select all instances, this one in the view. Yeah. Swap it out for the one is to 51. And we're getting slightly bigger now. So that's a, a solution, a simple solution. Let's go back into our uh ground floor plan now if i had to say if i wanted to just tag this area here again in architecture i'll go into tag room this time because it's already made and i'll swap out that for the uh the smaller one and uh okay. let's see if that's uh the right yeah so, yep that's uh that's spot on all right so you have an option there um uh, to so we've got two room tag types um one that can be used at a scale of one is to 50 and one that is used at a scale of one is to 200. okay so probably the easier way to do this would be the second way i did it which is what i showed you in here so that i don't have those um actually visible um because they're already they're going to be shown in the in the uh in the call out detail there just so that you know that now let's move along and i'm going to do rooms here now and uh so here is the main lobby area there that's taken care of now it's reporting back to me that the room is not enclosed here so let's hit escape escape at that it means that uh there's a gap all right and, and in this case the gap is here so i am going to um come up here i'm going to right click uh, that uh, tag integral i'm going to say create similar okay and i'm going to close off this room here so again uh drawing clockwise now um not saying that's how i'm going to leave that finished but that'll just take care of my rooms uh, there for the moment so i'm back into room here and you can see now that that is enclosed okay and if i want to do this one um i will do it via my core plan here i'll do rooms uh, that way and i'll swap that out for my bigger one the one is to 50 uh size there there okay No, that one is there. Right now, there's all the the rooms on there. What I have to do now is uh, 
pop into room here and of course you have to do this manual this is a little bit laborious but needs to be done so this is stair core and it's stair core number three i think Row three zero three Okay, on the ground floor plan that we're looking at there. This is the uh, stair lobby. Stair. Uh, 03. On the ground floor plan. Um, this one is, well, I need to start counting my um, cores now at this point here. Go back into there and um so that is a core one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven cores there so this would be 12 let's start from 12. so service core 12. Service core 13. Okay. Now in a professional practice, you'd have a far better way of numbering these. In. You know, one of the reasons that we have to do this is that we do have to distinguish. Uh, that's a lift core, isn't it? That's a lift. That'll be one, two, three, four, five, lift core, or five. But if we want to draw a schedule out of this, and uh, we uh, so that we can find the particular room that we're talking about if we have to send somebody there or do something like that all right so that's that one done now uh, that is pretty good um i think that's taking care of all of that um once we actually have the uh the core is done then uh what you'll do is you'll go into your section and again tag room and here we go so uh, i can tag that tag that tag that okay and um go back into the ground floor plan and i can go into this section here and again tag room They're all the kind of lift core tags. Yeah, I'm using the, the bigger one as well. So um, I'm going to swap that out. And yeah, that's that one there. Right, so select that one and select uh, all instances visible in the view. I'm going to swap that out for the smaller one. Just this one here. Now we're in business. Okay. So uh, obviously uh, all those rooms now need to be filled out. Uh, so I'm back in here and I need to put in uh, lift core two, lift core three, lift core four, and so on like that. And then <clears throat> once you've got that kind of set that you know uh, which uh, room tag that you're using, you have to come up to the next floor and do the next one and so on and so on the whole way up. Now, I don't know if the guys want you to do all the floors or not, but um, uh, certainly do the ground on first floor i think that'd be worthwhile doing okay so that's that is uh that's room tags and um yeah with this video when i upload it i'll upload that uh specific uh, uh customized room tag so that you can download it drop it into the project and select that one uh, as you use it the, the two of them actually is what i'll do on that okay